today it's all about my uh, <coughs> yes it's all about my lipo storage and uh, lipo charging as you can see i have a couple of uh, items here for example the bag we all know about this little bag of devils here and this bed safe hey Sam. hello hello Yes, I know this channel is about uh, being a budget RC, building, FPV, and all that stuff. But when it comes down to LiPo and LiPo storage, LiPo charging, please don't go budget wise. Don't think about getting the cheapest uh, charger, cheapest, uh, or even don't get a, a LiPo st uh, storage bag, for example. Don't do it. Because, well. Uh -huh. Yes, that can happen. That's why I want to take up this video. I wanted to show you how I charge my batteries now and how I store my batteries now from a beginner point of view and today we got so many new, new chargers and uh, ideas for storing the light bulbs but for a beginner I did struggle but now I have uh, learned I watched some YouTube videos you can't always throw a stress days but okay <laughs> and I got in contact with some uh, a larger YouTube channels and ask them for tips because how, how am I supposed to learn if I can't ask any persons so now I will show you how I'm using this system so when I started again with the RC and got some lipo batteries so the first thing I bought was this bag here standard size lipo bag you can get uh, well you can get it uh, everywhere but there are some that uh, doesn't uh, work to be honest so the best way is go to your local um, rc shop if not buy it from trustworthy ones like uh, hobby king this bag for example i bought it from a local shop here in norway and i and i trust those guys because i bought so many lipos there and i asked them for help and they always have been uh, helpful and Try to answer all my questions, even if I was a beginner. So you need to understand, you need to ask for help, ask for advice. This bag I like because it had some heavy stitching. And it has some, it has uh, multiple layers. I've seen some uh, lipo bags, even just uh, one thin layer. And that's it. This one has... Um, strong velcro just what you need but you need to remember that this velcro could melt or burn off if that happens but just get a lipo bag for starter if you don't have anything get a lipo bag and then we have um, many types of bag for example like this one here um, I just bought it because I was kind of interested in it. Then I saw this. Uh, yes, I know it's the same brand and everything, but it has strong velcro. But look at this. Mm -hmm. So are you going to place a lipo down here? And I don't know, let it flaps up here on top of the lipo and close it like this. So when the lipo puffs and eh, yeah nope nope don't want it i'm not gonna use it i'm gonna throw it away after i've been using this lipo bag it does its jobs it does work i wanted to upgrade a little bit because now i'm getting more batteries then i bought this one here bed safe lipo storage unit this one i got from hobby king it was a little bit expensive for me, for me because of the currency and exchange yada 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 but I wanted to feel safe and uh, now I feel safe actually I really love this one so I took down some notes 
Uh, this unit, uh, this one is medium size. You can also get it uh, uh, mini versions and medium version like this. And uh, now you can also get the extra large versions. But this one here, it's a medium version and it's rated for two 6S 5000 mAh LiPo batteries or uh, 222 uh, voltage per hour. So let's open it and see. Because some LiPo batteries, um, this one here, some batteries, batteries even came with the notes on uh, the max wattage per hour it has. So this one has uh, 16. Point three, but okay. Let's say you get the lipo battery, you can't see any notes on it. So, but but you definitely know the uh, it's a two s and you know uh, milliampere. So, how can you calculate that? Well, I made a little formula that worked. Let's see now. Have you got the voltage? Seven point four times ampere. Two point two equals wattage per hour then you can add up the uh, max voltage per hour which you can store and this one here is also having a filter and vents to vent out the uh, not to filter out the uh, soot 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 hey the gas <laughs> and it's quite thick Mm -hmm. And here you can also see the little rubber thingy. No, 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 just rubber thingy. And this is also where you get your um, wires through. So I'm gonna take it out. Ah. This one here is a bracket that came with the uh, lipo unit, uh, lipo storage unit, like so. So my guess is uh, that they want you to have uh, your uh, uh, charger here. Got some uh, Velcro. Yeah. yeah, much better. So here are the wires we're going to use. The XT60. This one has a 14 gauge, but I'm going to replace it with uh, 12 or maybe even 10 gauge and then we have this one here it's a JSTXH adapter with a little bit of 6S extending cable now we're gonna place these uh, rubber ceilings oh, that was uh, wrong it's uh, more or less like a sandwich now I'm gonna open the case and dry this here then you can see in the case here just pull these out. Now the cables are sealed and tight as you can get. I got the JST adapter here. So now I wanted, if I wanted to charge the battery, I can take the uh, uh, balance port, the XT60 connector. So the charger, why did I choose this charger here? The ISDT Q6 Pro. I got two of those, the Pro version and the Plus version. So why did I choose this one? Well, because they are small and very compact. That's the first one. And they are very powerful. You can see they have uh, a 300 watt, up to 300 watt and up to 40 amp. But you need to be sure that your power supply unit can handle that. For example, this one here. This AC uh, adapter, 160 watt. You have an AC in and DC out. The output here is uh, 27 uh, volt and 6 ampere. So we can only use 6 ampere this one. But if you use uh, a bigger power supply unit, uh, let, let me show you, let me show you, I got this one, I just got it. So this one here, power supply unit, this one, I got this from Banggood. This one here has uh, output of 24 volt and 16.7 amps. On input, uh, on the AC, 
you got three wires and on the output this one that came uh, mounted already xt60 you got four uh, connectors two positive and two negative so to power my charger i have been using this one here as you saw earlier but since this one here is going to stay at home i'm thinking i'm going to make use of this new one here i just showed the 24 volt so and a couple of more things i have and that is this one here i just got it <laughs> and it's the same company again isdt fd100 smart discharger and as you can see there aren't any balance port there some might have i i don't want it because it don't, doesn't have any balance ports ah, yada, 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 yada. but if you have one of these get isdt yeah i, I really like isdt brand so <laughs> uh i got the battery checker mm -hmm. and now i'm going to play like a battery into the discharger now i can press uh, this button here the, the current uh, button to determine which ampere i wanted to have it and to select how many cells this light weighs this is two cell so two s and i want to discharge at four amps and now i can uh, monitor each cell and uh, if you have another advanced uh, battery checker maybe you could uh, look at temperature etc etc but this is one i have what's the good thing about this one when it's uh, done it will discharge to around 3.8 8 for each cell and that's the perfect for uh, long-term storage and when it's, it's done it will beep an alarm a very high alarm so you will definitely know don't leave the lap with charging discharging alone always be near it and what else i got i got this here a little battery checker alarm let's see here to be sure okay this is a plus and this is the negative side and just be ready for the <laughs> noise so here you can see it will tell you the uh, uh, voltage of the all cells the first cell the second cell and there's a button here you could set the alarm for example okay now it will uh, like if i set it to to 3.5 the alarm will go off if the battery has been reached uh, 3.5 and it's always useful to keep a couple of these in hand it saved me a bunch of times the question I always uh, have been asking when I started to charge lap batteries again uh, what is it, what, what, what charge this at? what's the settings I'm supposed to use so first we need to take this lap battery and connect it to the balance port like so and then the XT60 connector now it's connected to the balance port and the power port closing case and for this uh, show I'm going I'm just going to power it up using using this lipo here the same one as we want to charge it I'm just I'm not going to charge it but I just want to show it on the screen because if I wanted to charge I wanted to use a, a AC to DC adapter but since we're just going to show you Aha, uh -huh, okay. The first thing I see, I see all the cells. 3.84, 3.84. So the charger does automatically, you know, this is a 2S LiPo. But if your charger doesn't have this cell, like it automatically knows what battery it has. We're going to change a charge a battery like this, identical. Battery type. Yeah, yeah, task, you want to charge it, of course. <laughs> Battery type, we choose LiPo. 
cell voltage have it on 4.20 oh, oh, 4.20 cell count this is a 2s lepo so we choose 2s the current now this is where i uh, had questions for when i started again okay let's look at the battery the capacity is 2200 milliampere or 2.2 ampere it's always wise to charge at 1c rating 1c rating is 2.2 ampere get it so i choose 2.2 and then i start i want to charge this battery here for my fpv system this is a 3s lipo battery 11.1 volt and it has 1300 milliampere or yes 1.3 ampere and for this battery i'm using an adapter because it came with a dean connector now it shows us it has three cells 3.84 3.84 and 3.85 last time it said 2s now it says 3s because we have a 3s lipo the current didn't change it's at 2.2 but the battery is at uh, 1300 milliampere so I want to go down to 1.3 ampere and click start to charge it so if you want to store your batteries for a long term i want to make sure this battery is at 3.8 when you store it long term at 3.8 volt the health and life length of the battery will be a lot better if you have a fully charged lab battery that you weren't going to use because of rainy weather or your kids were nagging you or your wife wanted to <coughs> sorry or something just happened it's okay to leave the battery fully charged for one to two days but please put it on a safety secure storage container or use a discharger to 3.8 so this video might be a little bit boring uh, but i wanted to share my experience with uh, lipo storage and lipo uh, charging uh, from a beginner point of view so i hope you learned something today and uh, yeah, if you like the video click like and subscribe for more videos later on thank you bye bye